There are a few simple rules that you need to follow to perform consecutive 90s with any technique. The first rule is to only use the W key to move. Going left or right will slow you down and cause you to make mistakes. The second rule is very easy to follow. You need to be on the opposite side of where you want to turn. For example, if you want to turn right, then stay on the left side of the ramp and slightly away from the wall. The third rule is to jump to preserve momentum for your next 90. This means that you need to jump towards the ramp that you're about to build. This way you end up higher on the ramp and can build your next 90 right away. This is the difference between good 90s and perfect 90s. If you break any of these rules, then your 90s will be slow or you'll make a mistake. Keep this in mind for every single technique and you're off to a good start. Mongo's zigzag method might be the fastest way to build 90s, but it comes at a price. It's really easy to mess up because the mouse movement is exaggerated. Take a look at his hands. He starts high on his mouse pad and zigzags downwards. With each zigzag, he's building multiple walls, a floor and a ramp. He's also making his jumps a sharp pivot. This method requires a ton of practice, but once you get it down, it'll look like you're floating. Practice this zigzag 90 by going slow and sticking to all the rules. Here's Mongo's advanced 90 method in three simple steps. Build a ramp and run up the left side. Once you pass halfway on the ramp, start zigzagging and build walls in front of you first. You should be facing your right and against the wall. From here, jump and build a floor and ramp. This is a one full 90, so all you have to do from here is rinse and repeat. Run up your ramp and zigzag all the building pieces into place. Pause between each 90 and then go for it. Take this part slow and really master it because the next step is pretty hard. Tie everything together by sprinting forward. You want steps one and two to flow naturally and it'll look like you're floating once you get it right. If you keep messing up a specific building, you can easily go back to step one or two, then work your way up again. Mongrel is one of the best builders in the world. If he's using this method, there's a reason why. This is for players that want to take their game to the next level. The most common method that players use is the circle. Tifu and many other pros use this method. He spins his mouse in a tight circle and each circle creates 190. If you want to go right, then circle clockwise. If you want to go left, then circle counterclockwise. Players find it much easier to learn how to go left and right with this method. That's a major advantage since a lot of players can only 90 in one direction. The key to this method is control of your crosshair at all times. Look at my crosshair. It's not moving all that much. Your goal is to make the smallest circle possible. Control circles make for consistent 90s. Another trick that I find very useful is to keep your crosshair at head level. Time your circle so that you build a floor as your crosshair is at its lowest point. Doing this helps you avoid building a roof over your head. Lastly, make sure your crosshair makes a full circle every time. You need to reset your mouse position to stack 90s. All right, so this is the breakdown of circle 90s. Build a ramp and run to the left corner. Start by building your building pieces one by one in a circular motion. Build the walls first, then the floor and ramp. This is one complete 90 and you should be on top of a ramp. Keep going until you can get it right. Run to the corner again and repeat step one. Keep going as fast as you can without making any mistakes. The goal in this step is to learn the rhythm of the circle. Once you have this part down, move on to the next step. Tie everything together and add in the W key. It's going to be overwhelming at first. Take as much time as you need. Once you can do it once, then it'll start flowing. The circle 90 is the most common method for a reason. It's fast and it feels natural. All I'm going to say is Tifu uses this method and that should be enough reason for you to try it out. The Bizzle 90 is the easiest way to build 90s. If you struggle with every other method, then pay close attention right now. All you have to do is keep your mouse at head level and rotate to the right or left as you build. Bizzle doesn't even bother building floors. This is how one of the top players in North America builds his 90s, and I'm gonna teach you how to do it right now. Build a ramp and run up the left side. Build the wall in front of the ramp first and place the two top walls. You should be in this position now. The next step is to jump and place a ramp. It's very important for you to be close to your wall with this method. You wanna ride against the wall at all times. This is the downside of not having a floor to boost yourself up. Lastly, add in the W key. 
You should be able to pick this method up very quickly if you stick to the wall. If you're having trouble, use the wall as a pivot point. This is a very easy way to perform 90s and is still just as effective. I recommend this method to players that don't want to spend hours perfecting the 90. Bizzle is a top 10 player in the world and he uses this method, so that should be convincing enough. The Infinite 90 method by Atlantis Mitro blew my mind when I first found out about it. He can literally stack 90s at full speed without having to stop. I saved it for last because this method is really hard and it'll take a bunch of time to master. But I'm going to try my best to make it easy for you. Build a ramp and run towards the corner. As you're about to turn, aim your crosshair right here. This way you can build two walls at the same time. Now just jump and build a floor and ramp. Everything should be pretty easy so far. The next step is the hard one. Rule number three is more important here than any other method. Turn your mouse in this kind of arc so you can jump and end up at least halfway up your ramp. You don't have a wall to catch yourself, so be careful of falling off the side. This step will take a lot of time to master, so don't expect to get it right away. Perfecting infinite 90s is a great way to flex your building skills. While everyone else has to reset after three cycles, you won't. Atlantis Mitro is a ridiculous builder, so we'll keep you up to date on what he's cooking up next. There are a few common mistakes that you'll run into when building 90s. The first big mistake is Harry Pottering yourself. Placing a ramp over your head is the most common mistake and the absolute worst one. All of your hard work is gone and your high ground push is over. This happens when you don't stick towards the edge of your ramp or if you jump at the wrong time. If you're Harry Pottering yourself all the time, then go back and practice rules two and three. Another common mistake is that players tend to misbuild walls. Building an unreinforced 90 is a quick way to get shot down. If this is happening to you, then stop W King and go back to building piece by piece. Think about every single step and try to go back to the basics. Check your cursor placement, your positioning, and the universal rules. The last mistake that comes to mind is when you build a roof over your head. If this is happening to you, then you're just not clicking your inputs fast enough. Just like with any other mistake, take a few steps back and go slow again. I recommend that you edit the roof and just continue from there because there's a good chance you might roof yourself when it counts and you need to practice this edit as well. I personally use the Circle 90s at the moment and once I learned that Tifu used it too, <laughs> I felt no need to change. It just feels the most natural and it makes the most sense to me. A few other people here at Pro Guides use it as well. I mean, like I said, it's probably the most common method out there. Give it a spin. While making this video though, I think that Mongrel's zigzag has a lot of potential. I found myself going really fast at times with little to no practice. If the circle and zigzags just aren't working for you, no matter how hard you try, then pick up Bizzle's 90s. I actually started with those somewhere in season two or three when I self-taught myself 90s. They work just fine and I naturally began making circles as I got faster. It worked for me and it might work for you too. So you put in the time and learn how to build consistent 90s. That's great, but you don't know how to use them in a real game. Here are some ideas to put your hard work into action. Whenever you get shot from mid-range, don't build yourself into a box. Build 90s instead. This way, you can secure high ground and be in position for any play that your opponent can make. Don't go too crazy with the 90s though, so you, know, you should just build two or three, then shift gears into offense. Sometimes building 180s isn't enough to win high ground. Let's hit the lab and do some quick math right now. If you build two 90s, then you just turned 180, right? Two consecutive 90s is super sturdy and easy to build. Another benefit is that it's really difficult to counter build against. So once you pop out of a ramp, bust out some 90s and win high ground. This is what pros do in their crazy 1v1 playground battles. So try it out for yourself. Once you stop building 90s, your side and back will be exposed. Quickly turn around and cover yourself. I'm pretty ashamed of how many times I stacked 90s and I thought I was safe only to be shot in the back. Ugh. So remember, build your 90s, then complete the box. The last tip is not to build 90s for no good reason. Yes, it's a great and flashy technique, but there are some games that you don't need to build a single 90. Don't force yourself to do it. It takes a lot of materials and it honestly just isn't worth it. 